welcome to Chappy TV. Man, I tell you what, I was I'm feeling really wound up today. Bit overwhelmed, bit uptight. I really need to relax. So I thought, what can I do to relax? And then I saw Mr. Marsman and he really needs to relax. So after I saw Mr. Marsman, not very relaxed, I thought, okay, what's some ways that we can relax? So here's just a few that we came up with. It's good to exercise like we've just been doing. It's great for you. It's healthy, it releases endorphins, helps you feel calm and relaxed. It's a good thing to do. It's good to get in nature, feel the grass between your toes. That'll make you feel relaxed and calm as well. They're good things to do. And let's not forget chocolate. Always good to have chocolate, but it's a sometimes food, so we don't want to have it all the time. But chocolate's good to help you feel calm and relaxed too, or so I hear, I wouldn't know about that. Um, so today, I want to encourage you though, those things will make you feel calm and relaxed, but how do we find real peace? Real peace that doesn't go away when things um, are tough and when everything seems a bit unsettled. So we're going to be talking about that in a minute. But can you do something for me? So head on over to the Learning at Home website, go to students, go to wellbeing, pick a Pilates stretching move that was your favourite from the clip today, send a pic in of you or you and your family doing that, email it to um, my email address which is on that, which is on the Learning at Home website and um, we look forward to seeing everybody doing some exercise. We really want to look at today though, where do you get real peace those things will make you feel calm and relaxed but where do we get real peace that never goes away that no matter what's happening it's always there we're going to talk about that in thank a you for joining us welcome to full stop i want to read a scripture to you from philippians chapter 4 verse 6 to 9 contemporary english version don't worry about anything but pray about everything with thankful hearts offer up your prayers and requests to God then because you belong to Christ Jesus God will bless you with peace that no one can completely understand and this peace will control the way you think and feel finally my friends keep your minds on whatever is true pure right holy friendly and proper don't ever stop thinking about what is truly worthwhile and worthy of praise you know the teachings I gave you and you know what you heard me say and saw me do. So follow my example and God who gives peace will be with you. So today we've been talking about peace a little bit, talking about how you can be calmer and you can be more relaxed and feel more peaceful by doing exercise, by getting out in nature, eating a bit of chocolate and all of those things will, are good. They're great things to do, but it's important to know where we get that peace from that doesn't go away if we run out of chocolate, that doesn't go away if we can't go outside when we want to. And so the first thing I want to talk to you about from that scripture is about prayer. It says, don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. And so sometimes prayer is often the last thing that we turn to. You may not have talked to God for a while, but that's okay. He doesn't mind. He loves to hear from you. So even if you haven't spoken to him for a while, now might be a good time to start. Oftentimes when things go wrong, we try and fix it ourselves. We go to other people and ask for help. Again, all good things to do. But let's try and go to God first. Let's let him be the first person that we go to in prayer and talk to him about it because it says don't worry about anything pray about everything and so we go to him first and we leave that with him um, 
The second thing I want to talk to you about is about being thankful. It says, with thankful hearts, offer up your prayers and requests to God. Do you know, it's really easy at the moment to be grouchy and grumbly because we can't do what we want. Now, I know that you guys, teenagers, never get grouchy and grumbly, right? But, you know, we can't go out where we want to and when we want to. We can't, some of you may have missed family celebrations or birthdays and they're not the way they usually are. I know that there's online youth and online church, but we can't get together and hug each other and spend time together. And so that sometimes makes us feel grouchy and grumbly. I know that we can't go to school as usual. Some people are at school, but if you can stay home, you're at home. And I know that that's gonna make you grouchy and grumbly because I know you all wanna be at school more than anything else. But let's try and be thankful for something every day. So a good practice, well, we used to do this at home. So when my, well, we still do this when we have dinner together, um, which depending on our schedules may not be every night, but at the moment it probably is at your place to go around the table and talk about something that good that happened in your day, something that you're thankful for. That's a great thing to do or to think about something that you're thankful for before you go to bed. And once you've thought of that or you've shared it with your family, Share it with God too. Tell him what that something is that you're thankful for. Because again, he loves to hear from you. Have an attitude of gratitude. I understand that that's really hard. You would have heard that before. It's difficult when times are tough, when, you know, nothing seems to be going right, when we can be a bit overwhelmed with all the things that are happening in our world. Sometimes it's hard to find things to be thankful for. But try and change your focus and your perspective and you'd be surprised what might happen. I'm thankful that even though I can't go out where I want to and with who I want to at the moment, I'm safe at school and I'm safe at home and I'm healthy. So try and change your focus and your perspective. Talk to God about what you're thankful for. Fill your minds with worthwhile thoughts. It says in here, don't ever stop thinking about what is truly worthwhile and worthy of praise. It's really easy, again, at the moment to be filling our minds with too much information about COVID, about what's happening in the world, all the negative things. We need to be aware and we need to be alert, but we don't need to be anxious or worried. So try and cut down that time that you're spending on your social media and TV, watching things that are going to distress you. Even when COVID isn't around, try and do that because it's good for your mind. It's good, it's good to not spend time absorbing things that aren't worthwhile. Some of you might have seen on social media John, John Krasinski, which is who's from The Office and um, the movie A Quiet Place. He's got an online show happening called SGN, Some Good News. And he's putting all the things on there that are, that are good that we're seeing that people are doing. So fill your minds with some good news, with things that are true and pure and right and holy and friendly and proper. Don't ever stop thinking about what is truly worthwhile and worthy of praise. Think about other people at the moment. Think about what they might need. Keep in contact with others and encourage them. Use your social media for good and not for evil. It's a great time to use technology to keep in contact with people. Of course, you'll need to do that with the guidelines that you have in your family and at your place for your social media use. Um, and remember to always be respectful online. This is a time when we want to be thoughtful and helpful at home and to each other and we want to be respectful and we want to do that online as well as in person. Read your Bible. Now, I've got, I really love my hard copy Bible. You might have a hard copy, you might have an app on your phone, um, on your laptop, Read your Bible. It fills your mind with God's word and God's word is certainly worthwhile. In Mark chapter 4, verse 35 to 41, I want to read you what happens. As evening came, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they took Jesus in the boat and started out, leaving the crowds behind, although other boats followed. But soon a fierce storm came up. High waves were breaking into the boat and it began to fill with water. Jesus was sleeping at the back of the boat with his head on a cushion. The disciples woke him up shouting, Teacher, don't you care what, that we're going to drown? 
Jesus woke up. He rebuked the wind and said to the waves, Silence, be still. Suddenly the wind stopped and there was a great calm. Then he asked them, Why are you afraid? Do you still have no faith? The disciples were absolutely terrified. Who is this man? They asked each other. Even the wind and waves obey him. I want to ask you today, do you know who this man is? They're talking about Jesus. And one of the ways you get to know him is by reading the Bible. It's God's word. You know, I, when I'm allowed, when we're not in isolation, sometimes go shopping with my friends. And, you know, we might be looking at outfits or clothes or earrings and they'll find things sometimes and they'll say, oh, this looks just like you. Um, these, these earrings are just like you. You should try them on or you should get those. Try this dress on. This is just like you. How do they know that? How do they know what just like me is? It's because they know me. It's because we spend time together. It's because we talk. It's because they know who I am and what I think about things. That's how you get to know God. Not go shopping with him, but read the Bible. That's what the Bible, it's God's word. And that's one way that you can get to know him. There's other ways, but it's God's word. So read it. Get to know who that man is. And we know that Jesus was God's son, sent as a man, but we know that he is God. And so read your Bible. It's so important and it is worthwhile. So in finishing, don't worry, pray instead. Be thankful every day. Think worthwhile thoughts. Focus on what's worthwhile. And get to know who this man is, this man who can calm the wind and the waves. Get to know God. If he can calm the wind and the waves, he can calm your mind. He can give you peace. Peace that does not go away when things get rough, when there's a storm in your life. God's peace is everlasting. So I want to read that scripture again that we started with. Don't worry about anything, but pray about everything. With thankful hearts, offer up your prayers and requests to God. Then because you belong to Christ Jesus, God will bless you with peace that no one can completely understand. And this peace will control the way you think and feel. And this is a scripture from 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you his peace at all times and in every situation. The Lord be with you all. I'd like to pray for you. Father God, thank you that you are a God who hears our prayers, that you're a faithful, good God. And even when things, um, when it's hard to find things to be thankful for, we know that we can be thankful that you're with us and that you love us. Lord, we do just pray that you would help us to keep our focus on things that are worthwhile. Help us to get to know you. Help us to use this time wisely, to spend time reading the Bible and to know you better and to know who you are. And Lord, we do just pray for your peace, that as we pray and don't worry and as we're thankful and as we focus on things that are worthwhile and as we leave those things in your hands, God, that you would give us your peace. And so I just pray for your blessing over this week and we thank you, God, that you are good. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us today for Full Stop. I hope you have a really blessed week, um, whatever you're doing. Some of you I'll see at school and some of you I won't. Looking forward to seeing you in person, hopefully one day soon. So have an awesome week. Just remember, there's nothing you can do to make God love you any more or any less than he already does. He just loves you full stop.